What's up Woody Gang? Welcome back to another interesting episode of Well Plated Meals. If you're new here, karibu sana. Kindly consider subscribing for simple, amazing and affordable recipes. And to my returning subscribers, I truly appreciate the continued support. Today I'm going to share on how I make paprika fries served with coleslaw. I hope you enjoy watching this and above all, I hope this video will be helpful. If you have been following keenly, this will be our fifth recipe with the potatoes. We have already done the azukarai, bajia, sauté potatoes and chips masala. If you have not watched, I'm going to leave the link down below. Make sure you watch them just to have a variety of viazis recipes. So let's get started. have my potatoes here that I have already prepared. I peel them, slice them into medium width and wash them. This is how you slice them. You can use a chopping board. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't know how to slice them but just for clarity I'll show you how I came up with the slices. And when going to buy your potatoes, make sure you go for the big ones. Alafu azina makona kona mingi. You can see my fries is itakuwa long enough. I had already started eating my cooking oil. And this is how we test to know if the cooking oil is hot enough. We need it to be hot enough. You just sprinkle some flour. And it can release those bubbles. You know that your cooking oil is hot enough. So we are going to add in our fries. And also don't, don't overcrowd your pan. Once you overcrowd your pan, you are going to reduce the heat of the cooking oil. And your fries will end up being soggy. Because we may reduce the heat of the cooking oil. And we need the cooking oil ikiwa hot. Ivo vile ikon. Or the fries is weze kukauka vizuri. So make sure you just put small, small portions at the time as much as we all want to save and after umeziweka usikoroge koroge you just put them na unaziwacha hadi the time utakuja kucheck and your spoon utasikia ni kama juu imeka ukakauka so ukieka just leave them don't keep turning turning them as long as the fries is equal below the cooking oil, you can be rest assured that they are going to cook evenly. As we let the fries cook, we are going to prepare the coleslaw. For those who don't know what this is, this is a combination of cabbage, carrots, onion, and mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a must for preparing this coleslaw so bila mayonnaise you are not going to have this so mayonnaise is a must is a must that's the cabbage that's the carrot this is the mayonnaise and the onions make sure that your cabbage are cut into small 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 pieces so that they can mix well with the mayonnaise and the onions we are going to cut it into half then sasa we slice it just like i'm doing here After chopping the onions, we are now going to put them in some warm water. Then we add a lot of salt. The essence of doing this is to remove the taste and the smell of the onion after eating the coleslaw. Even when preparing kachumbari, you can go and check out how I prepare my kachumbari. We did this. So the minute you may wake up with some warm water, no make a lot of salt, you won't have that smell and taste of the onion after eating it. We mix this properly, then we set them aside for 10 minutes because there are not a lot of onions. As we wait, we are going to grate our carrot and we are going to use this grater of mine here. For those who have been following up, I know you know this cutting of mine. Make sure you get one. I told you to get one. It's only 30 bob. We are going to use this part harper. Yeah, pili. We are going to use it so that we can have the carrots zikiwa long. If you want to have the uh, carrots zikiwa long, okay, great. You can see the leziko long. You can as well grate the whole carrot and they will uh, zita toka zikiwa in those long, long pieces just according to the length that you want. 
make sure you get one in your kitchen it's really really a lifesaver i also used it while peeling my potatoes and while peeling the carrots i also used it it will truly save you a lot of time in the kitchen we are done with the carrots so the first thing that to Lubeka is the cabbage you can see the first layer is the cabbage then we have our carrots and now we are going to add in our mayo make sure you put enough mayonnaise because it's the main ingredients bila mayonnaise itakuwa salad mnajua zile salad za kukula chipo so without mayonnaise we jua tu uko na salad back to our onions we are going to wash them then sasa to the toy. we just wash them in this salty water then we run over some fresh water and we add them to our salad first tulianza na cabbage tukaongeza carrots tukaweka our mayonnaise and last we are putting our onions i don't use salt for this recipe but you can always taste to know if you need salt the mayonnaise has a sweet taste so misi kangi chumvi kwa ku make he cold slow but it's optional you can taste to kiske utahitaji chumvi you just put but i don't think you'll need salt because of the mayonnaise to make a kila kitu it's now time to mix them make sure you mix them well and you can just go as you add the mayonnaise because you want it ikuwe na hiyo mayonnaise ishike vizuri usiweke tu kidogo na pia don't overdo it make sure it's just medium like everything is well covered with the mayo And guys we are done with preparing our cold slow you can see even it is well covered na the mayonnaise so make sure you make enough of it and we go straight back to our frying pan to check if our fries is ziko ready I had mentioned earlier on to know kama fries zako ziko ready unafa feel some hardness na hiyo spoon yako ukiziguza and I can just feel that on mine you can see pia zingine ziko brown kidogo zenye zimeiva this shows that my fries iko ready na napenda zikiwa zimekauka kabisa but see at is equal crisps so i'm going to remove them then we get to the last step We are now on our last step. We said we are making paprika fries and here is where our paprika comes in. Niliweka kwa salt shaker so that it can be evenly distributed. <laughs> then after kuweka, you don't stir them, you'll break them. And this is how I mix mine after sprinkling the paprika. It is just that simple and you achieve your paprika fries. The excess cooking oil that remained we throw in a piece of ginger. You can cover it just as we said on our kitchen hacks video. By the time you come to check it again, our cooking oil it akuwa fresh. No smell or taste of the previous meal that you had prepared. All is done and said and my meal is served. That tells you we have come to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed watching and you're going to try this out. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to hit that notification bell for more simple, amazing and affordable recipes. Until the next one, it's a goodbye.